This video is going to be a look at some Iman Ross St. Brown film from the first two weeks of the 2023 NFL season. Of course, we know the Lions just suffered a heartbreaking loss, 37-31, in overtime at home to the Seahawks and suffered a number of injuries. C.J. Gardner johnson another off, a second offensive lineman down. Uh, James Houston, the fourth, out for a while. I think there's another DN that's injured. I'm not sure. And Iman Ross St. Brown himself cramping up at some point during the game and then one of the things I read was possibility of turf toe. Came back in the game, converted a crucial fourth down on a unique play that the Lions used with him in the slot. I'll show you some film from week one while I talk about what I think of Iman Ross St. Brown. I think he's the core of what they do. I think Jared Goff's playing extremely well. And, they, and Ben Johnson, as an offense coordinator, has some unique run schemes. It does a great job getting people open. But, but this is a guy who blocks at 5'9", 200, and 205 pounds makes catches in the slot, is reliable on third and fourth down uh, to the point where I don't, <laughs> I don't know what you do on third and fourth down if you're not looking to double him or at least allocate more resources to St. Brown than just one player. So far through two weeks, 12 catches, 16 targets, 173 yards receiving, I believe. With all of the injuries they suffered, his, his presence is going to be crucial. I mean, critical to, to trying to get a win against the Falcons in week three. Montgomery's going to be out a couple weeks. Jamison Williams won't return to game action until week seven. I think he gets to start practicing this week. Jared Goff and, and Iman Ross St. Brown going to have to carry the load. Let's get to some of the film from uh, the Seahawks game. This is a guy who's just tough. As talented as he is, he seems to be equally smart and versatile beyond, um, you know, probably my own understanding. They, they use him in a, in a myriad of ways. Here he is, slot left, second and 13 on the second possession. And got a completed pass. Great stopping ability, just great feet. Operating against Jordan Julian Love, excuse me, um, in the slot. Good football player. And the ability to stop on a dime and come back to the football. Long yardage situation, second and 13. Goff's already throwing the football as... He's stopping and coming back to it. So Goff and him have got great chemistry. Delivers a football nine-yard game. Two plays later, after they convert, this is a second and five from the negative 40. Eight-yard gain. I think he's trying to make this look like smash to the corner. So the number one sits. Smash or slot fade, I guess, really. The number one sits. So that draws the nickel defender down and i think i'm in ross st brown is trying to make this look like a slot fade and then snap this thing back down really cool concept that you see slot fades are difficult to defend and in, in man free and in any coverage for real but i'm in ross st brown as soon as he clears that nickel and he sees that nickel cross face to take the flats he stops on a dime and jared golf hits him with a laser eight yard gain for a first down Look, he had a fumble, which was very surprising. He's down here at the bottom of the screen. Two seconds left in the half. Somewhat similar situation to the end of the first half against the Chiefs, where the Lions, except the Lions on that situation, they just threw the ball away. That's Trey Brown down there who forced the fumble. He also had the pick six. Julian Love uh, recovers it. Brown's a hell of a player. Very surprising to me. I mean, Ross St. Brown is a guy who does everything well including handle the football and him fumbling, even in that situation where there's not much to lose close to the end zone. He's trying to possibly leap or stretch to get in there. Fast forward to the third quarter. First and 10 from the negative 25. This is a tough catch. I'll give you both angles of this. Again, operating against Love. I think Wagner gets a pretty good pass drop here, kind of like in the window a little bit. Goff sticks this over the top of him in a place where I'm in Ross St. Brown can make the catch. Beautiful catch on the left hash. Like I said, he was hurt later on this on in this drive, by the way. Tough catch. Love has got outside leverage. Goff throws it on the inside. Love tries to challenge it, which you'll see a better angle of that from the end zone view. The trust that they have is needed. they got to get Jamison Williams back to operate at full capacity. David Montgomery and the two offensive linemen as well. Look, the entire NFL has been ravaged by injuries, clearly. Uh, this team got hit hard in week two, was unable to get the win, but down 31-21 at home. They made plays in the uh, fourth quarter to force overtime, unable to get the win. But Iman Ross St. Brown is a guy who I think puts them in position to win games every single week.
Second and 19 from the 27. I think this is a couple of plays later. He's in the slot to the right. You're going to get a China in, and it's cool design if you ask me. You got two tailbacks in the backfield, Gibbs and Montgomery, and they're both splitting out to either side. Simultaneous, and this is the one I think he got hurt on initially, or maybe he's just cramping up. Montgomery is going to slide out here, and what that's going to do at some point is it's going to draw Bobby Wagner down. And the timing of this, I'll pause it when it happens. The timing of this, St. Saint Brown is looking to go out to the outside, but this is just a fake. It's China in. Once Wagner steps down with the running back, Montgomery in the flats, he brings this route back to the inside. Great design. Haven't seen that play a ton, to be honest. I've seen China out, China ends, but I haven't seen it done in that manner with the running back being used to bait the linebacker or pull him out of there. So cool route, 14 yards. Got hurt, came off the field. This is a fourth and three, two plays later. And St. Brown is here, lined up in the bunch. You expect all kinds of things. You know, China in, a drag, you know, maybe a maybe a inside release or maybe an inside release corner, post corner, whatever. What you don't expect is what you get. A shovel pass. Goes down as a pass. That's a counter blocking scheme. And he gets five yards after being injured. It, tells you what he's made of, tells you what Ben Johnson and the Lions staff think of him and what they expect of him. Their expectation level is extremely high, I think, for Iman Ross St. Brown. You can see the scheme. You've got a pulling guard to kick out, pulling tackle to wrap to the second level, shovel pass caught by Brown. They've ran this before, by the way. Ran it in 2022. I covered it a little bit in an off-season video. Same formation, same situation. Well, it's not fourth down. It's third and five, and he gets five yards on it. He's an impressive football player. The way they use him is perfect, but he could succeed in any scheme. Like, let me get that out of the way because people talk about slot receivers as if they're some unique anomaly that can only be used in certain schemes. I remember Ross St. Brown would start and be a star on every single team in the NFL, probably every single year in the NFL. He's just a special talent. Hopefully he's completely healthy and the Lions can get some of their players back, particularly on the offensive line, and uh, get a win against the Falcons. Get two and one would feel great for them, clearly. After getting the win over Kansas City, I don't think anyone expected the Seattle game to go in the manner that it did. I'm on Ross St. Brown being there, fully healthy, or he's going to play. To me, what I see, and I don't know a whole lot about him, he looks like a guy who would play if he's at 85, 80, 85%. They probably would need someone to, to hold him out in order for him to not play because he looks like a guy who's just a warrior and wants to be there for his team. One of my favorite players to watch, clearly. That's why I've done multiple videos about him. Let me know what you guys thought of, well, clearly if you're a Lions fan and you watch this long, you're disappointed in the loss. But you should be proud of the way that he played. You expect him to do it because he's a star. I don't know when the Lions front office thinks about signing him. I would suggest as soon as possible because I think the price tag just goes up with every game and every time he does things like he showed last week against Seattle, fighting through injuries to make big plays, uh, even though they got a loss. Appreciate you guys' time. If you enjoy the film study and the way I break down the plays, please let me know in the comment section. I'll try to produce another Lions video late Tuesday night. Uh, if you think other Lions fans would appreciate this content, this look at Iman Ross St. Brown's play in week, week two, then please consider grabbing a link, sharing this content out on social media to help this video get more reach.